Hey guys, welcome to the Licks You Should Know series. This week we're gonna explore one of the most iconic songs ever created. The artist is Jimi Hendrix and the song is Little Wing. The song itself is worth learning as you can get so many things from it as a guitar player, but we're gonna take a closer look at the beginning of the guitar solo. This lick specifically can be used in a lot of different ways and it's worth learning and exploring. The song was written by Jimi himself and was recorded in October of 2067 by Jimi Hendrix Experience. Little Wing was released in December of 1967 as a part of the Axis Bold as Love album. Jimmy used Stratocasters extensively with a fast phase and his Marshall amps. Any Strat type guitar will get you a tone close enough. The tuning on this one is a half step down, so feel free to tune your guitar half step down to follow along or convert everything one fret backwards. But let's not waste any time and get into it. Alright, now let's take a closer look at the lick, uh, the scale you're gonna use for that lick and how uh, essentially you can play it um, and then how you can even use it in a different context. So um, the, the guitar is tuned half step down if you haven't done that already, uh, pause the video and uh, do it uh, now or even uh, if, if that's easier, uh, transfer everything I'm gonna say one fret backwards. So uh, the guitar is uh, tuned in uh, E flat, um, um, so my open E is an E flat, uh, A is an A flat, D uh, flat and so on and so forth, that's uh, everything is half step. And essentially the box of the pentatonic scale we're gonna use, it's gonna be this one. That's gonna be the E flat minor pentatonic, uh, but on the shape, uh, think about the E minor because uh, we tune the guitar half step down. Uh, it might be confusing, but once you understand how it works, then uh, you will um, get the concept and how, how things work. Uh, let's take a closer look at the lick and how you can play it. Let me play the lick first and then let's break it down. So as you can see, everything happens between the B, G, and D uh, notes on that specific pentatonic, and uh, because this pentatonic shape is used really, probably all of the guitar players out there know this uh, position, it's really easy to transfer things and it's really easy to get inspired and uh, use this lick in, in your own way and in your own solos. Uh, let's break it down. Uh, so essentially what you wanna do first is bend, uh, full bend the, the 15th fret on the B. Essentially what you want to do there is instead of playing the 15th fret like that you want to introduce uh, some muting before you reach the string so um, that is called rake and essentially all you do is you're muting the, the D and G strings and then you play the B string just to give that uh, emphasis to your solo or the note. So you want to do that then again do that uh, full bend land on the 15th fret, back to the 12, and then pull up and hammer on, on the from the 12th to the 15th. And then what you do, uh, bend again the 15th fret on the B, come back, and then 12th fret on the G. Let's play the whole thing from the top slowly just to combine things. So that's gonna be the first part of the uh, the actual lick. Let me play it one more time. And then the next part uh, goes something like that. Uh, you can play around with how many uh, bends you do on the 14th fret, but let's actually break it down and I will explain everything later. Uh, so essentially once you reach the, the 12th fret from the previous lick, all you want to do is play the 12th fret on the G, 14th fret on the G, full bend on the 14th, and then play the 15th on the B. So you do... Come back. And then you want to do 14th full bend, 15th on the B while you're keeping the 14th uh, ringing. Go back to the, the 14th, 12, and then finishing the, the lick on the root note, which is going to be the 14th fret on the D. 
Let's put the whole thing together really, really slow. One, two, three, four. So, uh, if you have the Stevie Ray Vaughan um, cover of this song in mind, uh, he's using that uh, lick and he's doing something a bit different and uh, I'm get, definitely getting inspired from that as well as Jimmy's uh, version and you can definitely play around with it and use your own uh, sense and your own taste to play around with this lick. Uh, it's not, it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific thing you have to play, you can adjust things and you can uh, use your own taste and your own unique voice. Um, to play around with it. Alright, now that you know how to play the lick, let's see how you can use it in a different context. Before we jump into the backing track, what I want to mention is that this lick, um, because it's played uh, from Jimmy, he used a lot of fuzz and he used a lot of uh, really overdriven tones with a strat. Uh, something like that, it, it will definitely work really well. You can play clean, you can add some fuzz. I've added some um, overdrive from Amplitude. I'm using Amplitude at the moment. Uh, I'm using a, a Tube Screamer with a Fender Deluxe uh, Reverb as my uh, clean sound essentially. You can find all of the, my presets in the uh, link in the description if you're interested. Let me play you the lick in a different way. I'll, I'm not gonna play the lick exactly how it is. I'm gonna get inspired from the notes we talked about and I'm gonna uh, change things up and I'm gonna uh, be a bit more creative with that lick but I will limit myself in that area of the, the guitar and I'm gonna limit myself to only use the notes and the bends we did for the specific lick that we're talking about. So let me play uh, the bike track and show you a few ideas and uh, things that you can do. Can you hear the lick inside of these uh, phrases? Um, if you don't, that's really good uh, because I've done my job really well because that's the goal, isn't it? To take something, take an idea and try to do it um, really unique and to you and your, your taste and try to find something out of it. And uh, that's what I like to do as well with this one. Anyway, I hope you get the idea and I hope you understand the concept and I hope you like this uh, this lick and how I'm I'm approaching everything uh, with the bike track. That was the lick for today's Licks You Should Know. I hope you liked it and that you got something out of it. If you did, please make sure to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos or lessons. Also, don't forget to download the free roadmap for intermediate guitar players that I made for you, link in the description. Alright, enjoy the biking track and I will see you on the next one.